What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about all 29 bundles coming to Season 3 Reloaded, some important changes to the game and a feature that's being brought back. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure your notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Also be sure to check out FUPS, a not so healthy snack food brand that makes a range of flavorful corn puff snacks made from the simple ingredients of corn, oil, and flavored dust. They come in five delicious flavors, including grocery store cheddar, semi-historic sour cream and onion, professional salt and vinegar, instant hot chocolate, and an unambiguous cinnamon toast. You can use code SNACKS15 for a 15% off discount with the special link in this video's description or even the pinned comment. Now, in terms of some changes in Vanguard multiplayer and zombies real quickly, first off, Sledgehammer confirmed that they have temporarily disabled the dead drop field upgrade due to an active exploit involving killstreaks in Vanguard. They will provide an update as soon as they identify a solution. And it's crazy because dead drop has been a problem for quite some time every now and again it bugs out or people find an exploit to get unlimited streaks or to keep a chain of their streak going forever it's so weird how it works but we then have an update from Treyarch about Vanguard Zombies where they've added gameplay adjustments for Zabala the Deceiver address an issue with throwable blueprint weapons visibility adjustments for reticles earned in zombies and even more which we'll talk about in a second but with that being said we also have a feature that is seemingly being brought back for free this time around which is weapon inspection i know it's silly but it did take five seasons for modern warfare to get weapon inspection in that game it was available at launch for cold war but it has been a feature that's kind of up in the air for vanguard ever since launch i mean every now and again we see that the feature does work for some weapons and then it gets removed and all of a sudden it's confirmed via bundles that weapon inspection is a paid feature just for blueprints mastercrafts reactives but not for base weapons but then it's weird how in warzone you can inspect all the vanguard weapons for free so it's like what does this feature want to be in vanguard what does it want to be does it want to be a free feature or a paid one so it appears that free weapon inspection is back for certain ars pistols the katana but it's still broken for other weapon classes maybe it'll finally be ironed out and released for all weapon classes with the official start of season 3 reloaded or at a patch during a later date now yesterday's patch notes did confirm the following for multiplayer we of course have sphere a new map available which i gave you a nice preview of in my previous vanguard video from yesterday we then have berlin addressed an exploit that allowed players to reach unintended locations near the office for castle care packages will no longer fall through the stairs near the palace outer walls sub pens address exploits that allowed players to reach unintended locations near the dry docks and loading dock for modes we have arms race riding a motorcycle as it explodes will no longer cause the player's view to rotate which was hilarious and then for operators they're of course adding in kim tae young as I talked about before unlocked via an operator bundle and available for purchase with the reloaded update for weapons now we of course have the h4 blitz in the new submachine gun and i went over the unlock challenges for it in my previous video but for the stg challenges for the dead eye camo category are now properly being tracked we then have the nikita avt zach ms stock attachment will no longer obstruct the view of certain optics we then have the cooper carbine address an issue that prevented the m1941 hand stop and recoil booster muzzle attachments from unlocking at their designated weapon levels m1 grand Mind Games Camel Category now references the correct magazine attachment requirements. For equipment, we have the No 69 Stun Grenade Tactical. Decreased explosive damage from 25 to 5. That's a big one. The S944, also tactical. Decreased explosive damage in hardcore game modes from 50 to 10. Damn. This change was made to prevent lethality toward uninjured players. Explosive damage in core game modes remains unchanged, though. For perks, we have changes to Overkill, move from Supply Slot 3 to Slot 1. We have Piercing Vision, Intel, increased amount of suppression required to highlight targets. Decreased visibility of highlighted targets. For Survival Training, Supply, move from Tactics Slot 1 to Supply Slot 3. We then have Ninja, move from tactic slot 1 to supply slot 3, and this gets me really intrigued the most, to be like, hold on a second, what's going on with them rotating perks into certain slots? It's like, wait a second, isn't this something that probably should have been determined during the beta, so that it was changed by launch? But I guess it's better late than never to adjust certain things in the game based on community feedback over time, live, regardless of when it is, but it just seems like they're still kind of moving as they go along, and kind of 
just trying to adjust things as they go along because they don't really know what direction to take Vanguard in. They're just trying to give players what they want to ensure that it has a decent amount of player retention for the remainder of the game's life cycle. It's crazy. Now, field upgrades. We have a trophy system. Melee attacks will now properly deal damage to a trophy. Ammo box field upgrade can now be destroyed by a trophy, and trophies will no longer remain active when thrown out of bounds. For the counter spy plane, announcer will now play the correct voice line when an enemy counter spy plane is activated. For seasonal challenges, progression toward the season 2 mastery is now properly tracked. For user face and experience, players who have reached prestige 5 or higher will now see the correct prestige emblem displayed throughout the menus. Address an issue that forced the player back to the multiplayer menu when using contextual right click menus on PC. Address an issue that prevented AS44 mechanized reactive blueprints from changing colors when inspected. I know I've experienced that. Now we also have some simple changes to Zabal the Deceiver, you know, kind of nerfing her a little bit, allowing her to do more damage. And then in terms of the H4 Blixen SMG, we have a description there. We have the in-game challenges. Nothing too crazy, but they of course resolved an issue regarding the Skull Crusher throwable melee. And also about reticles, as I mentioned earlier, right? Reticles are in zombies have been adjusted so that a central dot is always present to assist with aiming, right? Not too many changes with Season 3 Reloaded of Vanguard, but I'm sure more changes will be present throughout the launch of season four in around a month's time but now in terms of all 29 upcoming bundles here in vanguard season three reloaded we first up have the spider striker for 1400 cod points and it's a decent looking skin. We got some red and black going on there. It looks like a bit of a reskin of a skin that's already in the game. We then have the Celestial DT, and that's gonna cost 1500 COD points. And I'm loving the color palette on some of these blueprints here. We have an Assault Rifle, SMG, and a Marksman Rifle all getting this really cool looking theme of the bundle. Not too bad. We then have the Kim Tae Young Pack, new operator for 2000 COD points, as I already talked about in a previous video. We have her as a playable operator now, along with new blueprints here for an AR and even a marksman as well as some other bonuses here right some xp tokens we have a mvp highlight a sticker it was brought to my attention that there are now over 100 operators playable in warzone now that kim tae young has launched in vanguard that's crazy we then have the job weld done pack nice play on words for 1200 cod points and this is a really unique looking blueprint. I'm not sure what's going on here with this SMG, but I like the name Space Industry, right? Definitely suits the bundle itself. It's a weird looking one. We then have the Spilled Ink Pack for 2,400 COD points. Heavily emphasized in the recent blog post about Classified Arms Reloaded, we know that we have artwork created by Ryan Ashley, Nico Hurtado, and Scott Campbell slash Scab Shop across three eye-catching operator skins. So it's cool that they did something a bit different and said, hey, let's get some tattoo artists to make some packs for the game. I love crossovers like these, and I think they've done a lot of crossovers this year for Vanguard, but I would hope they do cooler crossovers like these in games that are actually successful, like Modern Warfare 2, a Treyarch game. I think it's crazy how they got Snoop Dogg, they got King Kong, Godzilla. We have actual artists here for a game that nobody is really playing. We then have the Drip Check Tracer Pack here for 2,400 COD points, and I do like what's going on with these bundles here, or excuse me blueprints for an AR we have a sniper we then have a special operations executive skin for Francis this is cool we of course have the active reload highlight intro a Vanguard exclusive item so not too bad here for the blueprints and the other cosmetics as a part of this pack we then have the radio static tracer pack for 1800 COD points this comes with an AR an SMG loving the vibrancy and the color palette there with green with the yellow it looks awesome also have a really cool looking covert relay emblem that I do like and a decent looking calling card right not too bad for some tracer blueprints they're called radio signal green tracers to be exact we then have war the horsemen of the apocalypse pack for 2400 cod points the big boy that you see emphasized in the artwork for season three reloaded again 2400 cod points for an ultra skin bundle blueprints with fiery tracers and a volcanic dismemberment effect and even a vanguard only item which is in the form of the highlight intro but that skin is crazy definitely one of the best probably a top three in vanguard altogether if i had to be honest with you loving what's going on with the blueprints for the ar for the smg and there's even a melee weapon in there the demon ram so packs like these really do stand out and could even entice players to buy it if they don't even like vanguard because they can use it in warzone at least we then have the high voltage reactive master craft for 2400 cod points another pretty impressive bundle i'm glad they brought the heat with at least a couple of packs here for season three reloaded and we have the high voltage reactive mastercraft including the mastercraft itself weapon inspection i like how that's marketed blueprints with lightning tracers and electrical dismemberment and a vanguard only 
MVP highlight. So this also is impressive. Also loving the Sinister Agent Polina skin. It's different. Now we also have another bundle that is tied to the war pack called Wars Reach Weapons of the Apocalypse. So we have some blueprints and mastercrafts here with weapon inspection, blueprints with fiery tracers, and volcanic dismemberment once again. And this is crazy. So I don't know how many times I've done this in COD before, but very rarely do they come out with a bundle and then another bundle that is directly tied to it, but sold separately with skins and whatnot cosmetics that are kind of tied to the same theme as the original one this is interesting right almost like uh, a little spin-off or an add-on to the other war bundle that's in here now we also have the tread lightly mastercraft for 2400 and this of course comes with weapon inspection blueprints with holographic green tracers and a vanguard only item that skin is wild for thomas right they're really bringing the heat and i think honestly this might be the best patch yet in terms of bundles they brought out i think some of the best packs in the game throughout just one update which is classified arms reloaded right loving what's going on here with the prototype we then have the dark ether mastercraft for 2000 cod points and you know zombies fans are gonna eat this one up and considering zombies didn't get any content throughout season three aside from little stability changes or uh weapon inclusion right adding in some season two weaponry this is pretty much it in terms of zombies right cosmetics so we have a dark ether mastercraft with weapon inspection and blueprints with dark ether tracers right the dark jinx as SMG, the Lava Crack AR, we have some other cosmetics in there, right? Calling card, sticker, emblem, charm. This is cool. For Zombies Only fans, I'm sure a lot of them out there will be picking this one up in no time. So let's prepare for the launch of Shinonuma Reborn in Season 4. Now we also have a special Mastercraft known as the Pitfall, and it's tied directly to the Activision Retro game, also known as Pitfall, featuring green tracers here on the blueprints, and they of course put the copyright information about the game itself as a part of the bundle description. We have a blueprint for an AR, an SMG, and then calling cards, emblem, sticker, and even a charm tied to the theme of this classic game. But back to some of the basic bundles, we then have the Dragon Boat for 1800 COD points. Eh, some cool looking designs there on an AR, on a shotgun. I like the calling card though, it does look pretty cool. And then aside from that, we next up have the Stylus Strips. I'm sorry, Stylus Stripes, I can't read today, for 2000 COD points. We have a Padmavati skin, the Street Command. We also have some pretty cool designs there. I'm loving the amount of colors in the blueprints for the AR, the LMG, even a shotgun. Definitely not too bad. And we next up have the Opultant offensive bundle which somehow and for some reason has the same street command skin in it so it's probably not meant to be in both of these packs but what's weird is that this one's being sold for 3,000 cod points so a bit of a pricier bundle really confused on this but it comes with five blueprints two operator skins two calling cards and a watch so this might be a situation similar to stockpile from Black Ops Cold War, where it combines two bundles in one. That pack happens to combine the RGB Striker skin and the Beachside Bullets Reactive pack. We then have the Dirty Diesel pack for 1,100 COD points, a skin there for Daniel, and nothing really apart from an emblem, a sticker, you get two quips. I mean, I feel like this will be probably the least sold bundle throughout Season 3 Reloaded. There's not much included in it, not even, not even any blueprints. We then have the Scarlet Rain pack for 800 COD points, featuring one weapon blueprint, the True Impress SMG, the True Empress SMG again can't talk today we then have a charm emblem sticker spray and even a watch and next up we have the armor plated pack for 1200 cod points with a fairly basic Daniel skin. I mean, it's cool if you like the little shark theme going on there, but other than that, no weapon blueprints, and we just have some calling cards, sniper, sticker, emblem, and even a charm. But next up, I have the Vintage Vanguard pack. Love the name of that, because it fits the game, of course. 1,100 COD points for another Padmavati skin, calling cards, some other cosmetics, and no weapon blueprints. See what I mean when I'm saying that anytime they add in a cool amount of bundles, then there's like triple the amount of plain ones. It's just funny how that works, but luckily, Reloaded is bringing the heat with a couple of fairly impressive packs like we just talked about. We then have the Steel Scavenger pack for 1,800 COD points, featuring a skin for Lucas, two weapon blueprints, finally, some blueprints here. They're cool with some decent designs. We also have two quips, two calling cards, and then an emblem. We then have the Tiger's Fury for 1,400 COD points, featuring a Halima skin, one SMG blueprint, which does look cool. I'm loving the brown, blue, and orange going on there, and also some other cosmetics to match that theme with an emblem. I don't know how those still exist or how anybody even uses those, but there you have it, two quips as well. Next up, the Bloody Bearings pack for 1,100 COD points, featuring a Shinagori skin, a calling card, charm, emblem, watch, and two quips, no weapon blueprints. We then have the Major Arcana pack for 
for 1500 cod points and i really do like the purple being emphasized here with that skull we have blueprints for an ar an smg even a handgun followed by a calling card charm sticker and even an emblem we next up have the Kraken Killer for 1,300 COD points, featuring blueprints for a sniper, an LMG, and then some other small cosmetics like a consumable, a calling card, a sticker. The blue does stand out pretty nice. Got some dusty, dirty-looking blueprints here, known as the Rusty Harpoon and the Wave Corrosion. Not too bad at all. We then have the One Shot Wonder. Love the name of this pack for 1,200 COD points. We do have a nice little retro comic book type of uh, vibe going on with this pack. Loving how it looks. Two weapon blueprints, a calling card, a charm, emblem, reticle, and even a sticker. So liking what's going on here. We also have the Motorized Mayhem Pack for 1,100 COD points featuring a blueprint there for the LMG. That looks really crazy. Not sure what's going on there. Also blueprint for the Axe Melee Weapon and then an emblem sticker as well as a calling card. But coming towards the end, as I said, we have the Crystal System Pack for 800 COD points. Really liking the theme of this blueprint there for the SMG. Loving the light blue. Loving how it blends in with the white. It looks pretty cool, but there's only five items as a part of this pack. We have an emblem, charm, calling card, and then a sticker. And we then have, last but not least, a smoking gun for 800 COD points featuring one weapon blueprint, which is a blueprint for a marksman rifle, as well as an emblem, calling card, charm, and even a sticker. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all 29 upcoming bundles here in Classified Arms Reloaded? Are you impressed by the upcoming Mastercrafts, Reactives, and Tracers? I know I am. Not sure if I'm going to buy any of these, but these are definitely a step up in comparison to a lot of the previous bundles we got in vanguard seasons one through three or the beginning of season three there are some decent other ones this season thus far but reloaded as of right now probably features the best bundles in the game altogether followed by a fair amount of very plain ones that i know nobody out there is probably gonna get but that is about it really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody